Welcome back to Freestyle Metal X, the most metal motocross game ever. So, are, are you sure it's the most metal? Sure, and check out my bike. I customized the shit out of it. You that. made that bike look so gay. Gay? What? Dude, look at that thing. What? I thought you were my you friend. You can't pick a color I thought scheme. you were my friend. You can't pick but anyway, a damn you can turn your scheme. you can tune your bike like you can tune it a lot. Change up the brakes, the gear ratio, gyro f power curve. I don't know what that is. What what is that? What is what are seriously? I have no idea. Anyone who like, is like a motorcycle person or rides motorcycles, can you please? I mean, some of those I can understand like brakes probably would stop you faster. Um, but I don't know what power curves or gyro effects or any of that would be. I don't know what any of But with is. our money, we buy upgrades for the bike. We max its stats up, out, and as you as your bike gets better, it costs more money to improve it. Pretty standard system there. Yeah. And this is Villa Brava, and that is Clifford Adaptante. By the way, since uh, since the last video, I have seen the cover of the game, and wow, that's uh, special. something else. Special. That's real special. Quite special. Yeah. They had, the developers had to be very confident uh, yeah. when they posted that. By the way, looked up more info on Diva Studios, and yeah, they pretty much only made motocross games. That's good. They made like five or six games, but they were almost all motocross games. Stick to what they kind of know. Yeah. So you see that barbell thing that yeah. I just went into? Well, that is a rider stat. I didn't collect any of those in the previous um, one, but previous video. But to uh, improve your rider's stats, you can't spend money on that. You have to find those. Um, Was well, that a cop? I don't, I don't, I don't know. It you, looked like a cop. Well, you have to find those rider stats throughout the level. Huh. And so this is Villa Brava, and I really think that the uh, the city levels are the better, some of the better levels in the game, and it'll really show off the high points some more. You know, not only because it's cooler jumping from building to building than just jumping over a hill, but also because the game has this subtle sort of thing where it'll try its best to make you uh, land on a, a landing ramp or like on a downward slope. Uh, I, I find know, it hard to believe anything with metal in the title and them trying to make this the most metal game ever uh, the, that they would even remotely try to put anything subtle in there. I mean, I don't know if it's the most metal game ever. There was Brutal Legend. That's um, true. That game was played, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, there was some. Some people what, liked it. Some people hated it. I thought was it was that. Awesome. But was that the most metal game ever? Uh, that was definitely very metal. Or maybe I don't know, like Guitar Hero Metallica or yeah, Van Halen. Maybe those would have me. those would have to be the most metal games, wouldn't they? <sighs> but, I hope not. Okay. So while that while it might not really make sense from saying it out loud. Oh <laughs> shit! How'd you know you could do that? Well, while it might not make sense from saying it out loud, uh, the game will try- see right there, the game will try to have you land on downward slope. Sometimes it's not very noticeable, sometimes it is pretty noticeable, but it's not really anything I have a problem with. Ah. And I think that's pretty nice, you know? It makes sure you don't just kind of crash onto the ground. And, uh, this is the line I have a little bit of a problem with. I feel like that whole s second sentence was only added in to be like, hey, remember how girls want money? And that's it. Yeah. You know, it, it was just like, I, d I don't like know. Like, it's just a stereotype of women. I don't oh, look at that. Yeah. So this is the first real introduction to grinding. Um, Quote unquote grinding. Again, not really much uh, man ass whip here, but I will definitely make sure to include that in future videos. Oh, there's a little right there. Yeah, but. You know I love that man ass whip. Yeah. It's like the one thing I've repeatedly throughout the entire Remember. LP, the entire LP, that's the one thing I've always been asking more of, as everyone will remember. That's <laughs> no matter what game, you you're can, right. You cross the board. You can go back. In at least one video, every single game, he asks for more man ass. I man try to ass. do it at least once or twice per yeah. video. Sometimes we have to cut that. 
uh, because I say it after the 20 minutes of, of recording that, that you guys don't hear. Yeah. Uh, we just keep recording after yeah. the video. In fact, we just, we're not even watching the video, we're just guesstimating. Like, literally, we're just guesstimating, and then later we realize, oh, we've recorded 30 minutes yeah. of extra uh, talking. I don't know, maybe right now, maybe in, within like five minutes I'll jump through a helicopter or something, and I just think that's... Uh, I feel like you probably missed at least once first. <laughs> Yeah, I just... Yeah, I did, actually. I just... I, I don't know how you knew that, but... I was just guessing. Yeah. Um, and then, from what I remember, the helicopter will just kind of float away. It won't be like um, every other game I've played where we crash a helicopter. Oh, I... Like, I, remember Wakeboarding Unleashed? I kind of figured that it would just crash into a building or something, and it would be really offensive. Like, the helicopter just starts spinning into buildings and blows up. But instead, we're, uh, we're, it just, it just flies away. Hey, so you know how it's, uh, 2013 this year? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I think it was three days ago, I was browsing on the interwebs, that magical place, mm -hmm. um, and I saw something that was, uh, it kind of caught my eye. Apparently there are still 9-11 conspiracy theorists, uh, a little late, and... Yeah, where are you doing? I, I saw this wonderful conspiracy that said that it wasn't a plane that hit the buildings, it was a helicopter. What? How do you- what? That doesn't make any sense at all. And like it was just f like trick- photo editing tricks and like video editing tricks just paste on the a news, helicopter on, on the news that, the that news. made it look like- huh? that made it look like a plane. And I don't know how this- how- why are people still having conspiracy thought? Like, what? Why? I- f I figured we pretty much cleared it up. Wow, that looks really painful. To- I mean, um, I would guess get, that to, if you crashed- To get- to get back to the game. Um, what- one thing that's probably unofficial by the game, but if you miss a jump and you need to do it again, uh, crash and it'll reset you? That was a pretty sweet man-ass swing right yeah, there. Yeah, this, this rail provides for some pretty good man-ass swing. Though, the I don't know why the Metal X is Look at that to the left. And then I just kind of get it, even though I don't like hit it at all. I think it's so to force you to like turn your bike. Oh, so do you get it even though you crashed? Yeah. Okay. All I, need, I don't need to bring it back to her or anything. Yeah. Which kind of defeats the point of get me that shiny Metal X. Wow, so they robbed a place, so you're gonna run them down. They robbed a place, so they're just gonna stand there. By the way, this is the um, emptiest supermarket I've ever seen. Widest, just, like, just huge just aisles. Just huge aisles. So in this and you see how tall those people so are, they're the, not gonna reach so any of that challenge. Produce. In this challenge, sure, there are indicators, but you don't really see them until you get up close, so you kind of just have to roll and we'll drive your bike. Throughout, and ah! it's like, oh, there it is. Oh, and, then <laughs> and, then he, he and then he runs straight into He you. spears himself on the horns on top of your. Yeah. Yeah, and then so does the other. Yeah. One. So uh, that was a challenge, alright? That was oh, easy. Speaking of uh, challenges, in this challenge, well, you'll see once the uh, cutscene is over. First off, Fireman, you are right there. Grab it. <laughs> Knock her out of the tree? Second off, this is probably animal abuse. Yep. Yeah. Third off, for this challenge, just hit the X button. <laughs> Seriously, some of these challenges are so, like, <laughs> fucking easy. <laughs> now, now, you don't have to talk to anyone. All the, all the, so, wait a minute, you're telling all me... All the challenges you can just do, but if you talk to... Cindy, usually, uh, you get set up so that you only have to oh, go forward. Oh, Oh. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. I'd really like Speaking to see... Speaking of hurt, one final thing I need to, okay. to explain. Yeah. You see in the bottom left bar, there's a motorcycle and then a bar under it and then kind of like a heartbeat thing. Yeah. That is your health, kind of. If you crash enough... 
that bar will drop all the way down, the level will end, and you'll lose a thousand dollars because you were hospitalized. Now that's really, really hard to do unless you land in water, in which case it takes off like a fifth of your health bar. Yeah, but that's not something that really comes up. I've only been hospitalized once, and that was when I was really just screwing around. So. The gap was called Holy Man, because it didn't assume that we'd do anything else. Yeah. So, how are you thinking of this city level? You've seen some fine cities in your life. Is this a fine city? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's kind of plain. Yeah. There's not enough, uh, you yeah, know, random plain. street violence. But it does have a pretty sweet stadium. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is a very, uh, Obviously designed for someone on a, on a, on a, on a, on a motor BMX bike. bike, yeah. On a motorbike. Motorbike, yeah. Because, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Who parks it? Who parks all that shit between ramps? If they didn't want you to jump over it. Right. Maybe, maybe the entire city has been cleared out for us. Like, it's yeah. a uh, motorbike event. Remember in my fake plot how after you get off the farm you uh, go to the city and partake in some bigger uh, freestyle Wait, so that plot was fake? Yes, I said last video this game doesn't have plot. Oh. What, did you still believe that or something? Yeah, I thought you were saying this game doesn't have a good plot. I, I would have shown the cutscenes off if they were plot. There doesn't need to be cutscenes for there to be plot. It could all be text-based on the back of the box. <laughs> in the manual. In the manual. This game is one of those 90s games where the manual is 200 pages. Right, yeah. And uh, the actual game doesn't tell you shit. Right, like the... I can't remember what game it was. There was some game that I had where the the game didn't have a manual itself in, like, the case. It came with, like, a 100-200 with like a, a page booklet, um, which had, like... Oh, it was one of the missed games, and it literally had, like, just pages and pages and pages of, like, clues and shit, because the game was just too effing hard. It, it was just... So was it, like, a special edition, or did it no, come with... No, that was with, the regular I mean... edition. That's yeah. the regular version of Mist. People always say, like, I remember when games would come with such and such like that, which makes me feel... Pretty young, actually, because I was. We were right after that. Like, yeah. We were playing N64 as kids, and not PC games that came out in '94, where you got uh, 200, 300 page books that told like a fake story or something. It's not fake. It's real. It's real in your heart. It's real in my heart. Yes. The, even this this game, this freestyle Metal X game, its plot that doesn't actually exist can exist in your heart. You know, this game exists in my heart. Only like, in your heart. Right. Like, literally, I am not even playing it, and it exists in my well, heart. Well, we aren't even watching a video, remember? We're just kind of half-guessing. That's true. Kind I of, f forgot of, somehow yeah. that we weren't watching the video. Well, I took down really detailed notes. Like, look at this transcript. Right, I mean, this you know, transcript at, is so detailed, I feel at, like at five minutes, you just did a Shaolin. At 5 minutes 50 seconds, I do this. At 5 minutes 52 seconds, this happens. Yeah. You know, you've got to be specific. You've got to be uh, professional. Right, and then you did a, professional. a quick fade cut thing. Even though I'm not getting paid, so I can't be a professional. That's true. In the logic of uh, Tinker. I think speaking he, he of might have been... speaking of, I I've decided that you know of all the of all the things that happened with him, I've decided that there's one good that comes out of it. His he really, you know, he was talking about irrefutable statements. You know, his wow. example, Sarah Palin was at least 15 years old. Sure, it sounds stupid, but you know what? Do you think of Tinker as a liar? No. So I think I those statements. Think Tinker is a liar, but I think. Oh that, wow! This this uh to get back to the uh, game we may or may not be watching. Oh uh, uh yeah yeah. I, I just read that he got hit by a car. Yeah. Or landed um, on one. But the power of irrefutable statements that's really that's really stayed with me. I've mentioned it to my parents and. You know, my dad's been using them at work, and he says he's he, he says you know he's really improved. Um, well, it, his his uh, you know with his boss, like his boss thinks you know he's you know 
fool if she tells the truth a lot more. Like, I told him to say, when he was in a, me in a meeting or something, that the company he works for makes at least $100 a month. Which, you know, is true. It's gotta be true, unless it's like Dumpster Divers Incorporated or something. Dumpster Divers Incorporated makes, like, $300 a month, so don't get too, don't get too cocky. But I've decided that if I ever need to give a speech, if I ever need to give a speech, if I ever need to give a proposal on something, I'm going to make it on the power of irrefutable statements, and I'm going to start a business where I, I schedule meetings with people and they could pay me like 20 bucks for half an hour and I will console them on the power of your You mean you'll console them? No, well, Don't what's, console them. What's, Don't console command them. <laughs> what's the word where... Consult. I'll consult with them on, you know, the power of irrefutable sta statements and how it can improve their image in a successful global environment. So what are... Okay. That plan kind of, itself is irrefutable. No, the plan is refutable. And here's my problem with it. Here's how I'm going to refute it. Name an irrefutable statement. The company my dad works for makes at least $100 a month. That's not irrefutable. Yes, it is. It's not. Okay, I'll make an irrefutable statement. Okay. You are at least 10 years old. That's not necessarily true either. Bullshit. We, uh, y y you have a birth record. Right. Uh, I have but known, I might I not even known, exist. I have known you. For more than ten years. No, but I might not even. Oh my exist. god! Are you gonna go all like Descartes on us or something? Descartes. 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 Descartes, Descartes on us. Whatever. And uh, are yeah. you gonna be all philosophical? All right. The real world isn't thinking about fancy, dancy, fancy pants, ants in your pants philosophy. All right. They're thinking about. They're thinking about how to get ahead in a successful race. 2013 business. In <laughs> a successful race against some. Against incredibly weird AI, yeah, that tries to make it seem like so. In the races, ow! You also have a timer, as you can see, and if the timer ticks down, you lose. But why would it ever tick down? When you do tricks, you get like twenty more seconds. Like just do. So maybe have you tried racing through this without doing any tricks at all? No. Okay, I I'm think guessing you just got taken out. Right? I'm guessing if you do. Holy shit! The fucking traffic on this race is so... I'm guessing if you do that, you probably won't make it, but... Why do... would you ever do that? Yeah. If Again, if you're playing this game but not doing any tricks, and not, you know, going all out, you know, pulling sick tricks and getting fucking ripped, then why are you playing this game? And Not that last jump, but the tr jump and before that, you did no tricks and you still got a bunch of time. This one was all my fault, I forgot that it went up there. I was thinking a second in advance, or a corner in advance, according to my transcript. Yeah, according, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to mention, I'm reading off the paper, don't forget to mention uh -huh. how I was doing that and then I boosted a couple times, yeah. twice specifically. Note, make sure that uh, Bob doesn't forget to mention that I shouldn't forget to mention. Right. Some. Yeah. yeah. That's right it's there. It's all right there, that's in, right the, there as well. in the transcript. I mean, he that's writes... when you know you're a successful uh, duo. You know, when you can see inside the other's head. Right. And, he uh, was going to remind me, but it didn't really matter because I would remember anyways, and he knew I would remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, you know, I was pulling mind games on him. Yeah. I was pulling mind games on him. Mind and games. for only $20 for a half hour, I, too, can... Uh, can consult, Pull mind games on you. <laughs> consult to you on the power of understanding your partners and pulling mind games on them in a successful 2013 business environment. You know? I feel like you're turning into a scam artist like Tinker. Yeah. I think, t doesn't Tinker watch these videos? Tinker watches every single video. Yeah. Now, waiting for, waiting for waiting his chance. Waiting for us to mention him. Yeah, waiting for us to mention him and, uh, uh, or do you think he'll be he'll be making a return sometime um, soon? He could. He didn't exactly bring me hundreds of new fans as yeah. I hoped he would. He and I assumed he scared would. away some people. Yeah, he scared away about one nine hundred percent of his <clears throat> fan base. <clears throat> you out there who was scared away? Yeah, come back, please. Why do you care so much? So, yeah, what is strength? What is style? I don't... Okay, style? 
what is style? That's I a, don't, that's I, a really big philosophical <laughs> question. I think we can cover what is strength a little easier. Strength has to do with muscles, um, in in a li- in living tissue. Mm-hmm. Um, the amount of I, I don't know the, the amount of force that can be applied yeah. by the, the muscles at any yeah. given time. Something right. something mm-hmm. to do with that. Uh, style. That's something we should probably cover in the I next don't think video. that's anything that's ever asked in philosophical. Like, but what back, is style? Back, I've heard that. In really? art classes, at least. Oh. Well, back in like high school philosophy and probably college philosophy, you know, they always ask, what is justice? What is morality? No one ever asks, what is style? What is flair? Yeah. You know? Yeah. What is, uh, what is irrefutable? Yeah, you know, irre- what, is an irre- what is an irrefutable statement? irrefutable statement? You yeah. are at least 10 years old. Yeah. Uh, my dad's company makes at least $100 a month. And so so what's what's an irrefutable statement uh, and other great great questions that great can questions. be asked if you come to my seminar yeah if you come uh, to my th- seminar no, sh- hold on I'm advertising for mine first <laughs> oh, I thought you- thirty dollars thirty dollars uh, a seminar you can come you can you don't have to stay uh, I won't my feelings won't be hurt if you end up walking out especially since I'm just uh, gonna make sure this video is the exact same length as the previous one bye. <laughs>